Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolfer Programming. This is going to be another PinePhone video, specifically about WayDroid running on the PinePhone Pro. So if you didn't know, WayDroid is basically Android containerized. You might have heard that Windows 11, possibly 10 as well, can run Android apps. And the way it does that is it runs Android in containers, like Docker containers, if you've heard them of them. So this isn't emulation. This is actually um, in the case of the Pine phone it's not emulation. This is actually running Android on the Linux kernel. So somebody released a script to help install WayDroid on the Pine phone Pro, which I'll link that in the video. And what it does is it starts a container in the background and then um, it connects it to the Wayjoid server, not Wayjoid server, um, Wayland server, and starts Android as normal. And this is Lineage OS. You can install Lineage OS on your uh, on a lot of different phones. I've got it running, at least a derivative of it, running on a OnePlus 6, and it's been pretty good to me. So it takes a minute to start up. So I have clicked Enable Hardware Acceleration, and you'll see that in one of the options. However, it does still feel a little bit uh, sluggish, more sluggish than what it is. And this might have to do with display drivers, um, graphics drivers. It should run at pretty much native speed. So, and I don't think that's what we have here. And so one of the things I'm gonna compare is an app running on WayDroid and an app, an equivalent app running on the PinePhone Pro. And actually, while that's loading, let's go ahead and look at the, uh, the the app I have that's running on the PinePhone Pro. So, I have here Fluffy Chat, which is a uh, Flutter app, Flutter the framework by Google. And so I've compiled this natively on the PinePhone Pro. The problem with Flutter right now is text comes out backwards when you type. But how, however, we can at least see how quick it is to browse. So it runs very smoothly. I'm only in one chat room here. I made this user account just for this video. And so I have to type backwards um, in order to get a word. And so simple words, it's not too hard. Let's go see if uh, which word has popped up. Hmm, this has taken a while. Close this out and see if I can start it again. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and reboot and uh, see if it comes back up. Okay, so I've went ahead and rebooted the PinePhone Pro and WayDroid has come up. So it's still a little buggy. Occasionally you might have to reboot. That's just the way it is. So you see here, we actually have Android within our Linux phone. Like It's like a complete Android operating system, which is super cool. So you see, it's a little bit laggy. I've got some apps here. Um, we can go ahead and take a look at Fluffy Chat, which is the app we just ran natively, and see how it performs within WayDroid. So I can already see that it's launching a little bit slower and the touches are not quite as responsive. And that tells me that there's probably some hardware acceleration that needs to be Im either improved on or fully enabled. I mean, I don't, I clicked enable hardware acceleration, but there's no real proof that that actually happened. And so it's taking a minute for the Android keyboard to pop up. And this is the Android keyboard. So you'll notice here, if I launch the PinePhone keyboard down here at the bottom, actually using the PinePhone keyboard doesn't seem to do anything. It did launch these two characters there, but uh, <laughs> I didn't press those two characters. And Backspace actually puts the equal sign. So that's funny. But using the Android keyboard, it actually works. And um, unlike the PinePhone keyboard within fluffy chat, the text actually comes in backwards. So probably the Pine phone chat room is getting annoying me posting all this garbage. But yeah, it actually it, it, work, it does work though, and it's a little bit slow. However, if you have an app 
for example, a bank app, th this would actually work. So you could use your Pine phone as a privacy oriented phone and when you need to run Android stuff, you can launch it in a container. Bam, right? Works perfectly. I mean, not perfectly, but it works. So we can close out apps just like we're in Android. So one of the most popular open source apps for Android is Newpipe. And currently there really isn't an equivalent native version for the Pine phone uh, for Linux. And here it is. And you can download videos with this, you can play them. I've played 720p videos that ran smoothly. And the, if you didn't know, the Pine Phone's resolution is uh, 720p. And that is a 720p video playing. And um, it seems to be playing fine. So, Interestingly, if you try to do, you see, if you try to have screen rotation, it just kind of cuts it in half. It doesn't quite work. So at least right now, you have, you only have to, you can only use it in this orientation. And just like any Android operating system, you can install F-Droid and have access to the entire open source app store. I think they did have a uh, Google edition of WayDroid in the script. I didn't install it. If you're using a Pine phone, there's a good chance you don't want Google services because you don't like your data being sold on Google. I mean, that's one of the main benefits of using a Linux phone. So things do run a little bit slow, slower than they should. Eventually we should have near native speed. We should be able to install WayDroid and the app show up in our normal app drawers so we don't actually have to open up an Android operating system. And that should speed it up too because that's just an extra, a lot of extra overhead that we really, we really don't need. And sometimes, um, yeah, F-Droid has to do some updates in the back end, so that's why it takes a while to launch. I guess we can run through installing one of these apps so you can kind of get an idea of how that feels. Print utility. <laughs> okay, let's try a file manager. There we go. So of course the camera still doesn't work on the Pine Phone Pro. Here's the F-Droid APK, which I originally downloaded to get an app store. There's some things I'm still having a hard time, like just browsing the web to be able to download some APKs. Um, it, you know, I, I tried installing an APK through the script, which has an option and it didn't show up. So I wanted to install WeChat, but uh, it didn't work. There's a sound recorder. Let's open up a web browser so you can get an idea of what it's like browsing the web in WayDroid. So let's type in um, Reddit.
and it detects the web browser as Chrome. Okay, there you have it. WayDroid and Android apps running on the PinePhone Pro. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell if you want to be let if you want a notification of the next video I make and have a great day.